Right, I'm out in a workshop and new tool has just arrived. New bit of equipment, okay. Now, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess out in the front workshop. That's where I do my TIG welding up there. <clears throat> so I've got some new stuff that I'm manufacturing and I needed this particular item. So I've got to clear a space on this bench here um, for it to go. So... Here we going go. away a bit here because here it is but it's not complete yet i'm just assembling it and I, I initially i was gonna think i was thinking about doing a a full assembly video for this but i'm gonna be honest if you're buying one of these you know you'll know how to put it together the instructions are very basic there's only a few nuts and bolts right uh you can't really go wrong i've got to be honest with you um so I'm just putting the ram in now, then get the pump on and get it bled through. And I'll be back in a minute. Right, as if by magic, all done. Look at that, all fitted. I, the only the only thing I did have was a small leak up here because I forgot to put PTFE tape around the fitting, which as a previous hydraulics engineer, I should have remembered. Totally my bad. So, um, yeah, I pressurised it on some bits of wood. This springs back on its own when you turn the release thing. I, I, this is what I wanted. I didn't have any floor space. This is perfect for what I'm doing. So most people use these for pushing out or in bearings, in a hub, stuff like that. That's not what I'm going to be primarily using it for. I will be using it for pushing gudgeon pins, uh, wrist pins, out of pistons for V8s, okay? They freeze them to put them in and they lock pretty solid. 10 tonnes should be enough. Um, I basically don't want to keep using gas. It's costing me a lot of money in gas to heat the pistons. to knock, uh, And it's a lot of work knocking out the, the, the wrist pins. So uh, that's what this is primarily for, for another um, product that I make. Okay, I'm still there with the guitars and the tattoo machines. That's fine. Right, now listen. I've got to give them a mention. Wow Tools dot co dot uk a sealy dealer amongst others lots of other tools that they deal with uh best price i could find on the internet and as it happens they were only eight miles up the road from me in new romney right so check them out wowtools.co.uk they really do know their stuff down there they've been doing it for absolutely years sealy main dealer what more can i say there you go i'm going to be doing a lot more toolbox stuff fairly soon and I'll catch you on the next one.